Welcome to our video playlist where we're showing you our journey of building a grain bin house that we're going to use for short-term rental. Today, what my husband's working on is putting the floor joist up. Last week, we had a video about putting all the framing in. Now, as you can see, we only put the framing in for the bottom level. Now, he's going to work on putting the floor joist in to build the second level and have all the flooring done before he puts the framing in upstairs. You can watch that video for the framing. Uh, I click the link above. What he's doing is putting in four beams. It's kind of centered like a square inside the grain bin. The grain bin is about 27 feet diameter. And so what he's done is he put four four by sixes in, and each of those are roughly three and a half feet from the side. So basically, you've got a square. The square is about 20 feet on each side. And then right here where you see him building, he's going from the beam and he's laying it right here on the side of the framing, which is sturdy. He used heavy duty framing metal and that's about three and a half feet. So basically your weight for the floor will be in the center and you're going to have these four, four beams. If you can imagine that, um, this is just going to make it sturdier on the top. This will make the upper floor nice and sturdy so we can put three queen size beds up there and not have to worry about the, the weight. You wanna make sure everything's nice and safe. The bracing that you see him putting in, they are going to be visible in that main area down below. And we'll go ahead and polyurethane that and make them look real pretty. This is my header beam for my floor choice. Beginning of a long, long process. Go across the room, come across here with floor joists. Bam, we got a second floor. Okay, so we're gonna have four of these, four by sixes, and the two by twelves will all be the support for the floor joists. And there's number one. Many people might ask, how do you get electric in there since it's not right by your house? Um, we use a generator and he drives it up on the back of his truck and boom, he's got electric. This did take a couple of weeks, but he did get all of the beams in, the support beams. He started putting in the floor joists. We actually were able to buy the floor joists off of Facebook Marketplace. I've mentioned this before, but a lot of times people will start a project or do a project and they overbuy supplies. Maybe they've held on to them too long, they can't return them, so they put them on Facebook Marketplace. So be sure to check that out anytime you're working on a project. We were able to, to get several beams that way and got a really good deal on them. This is really going to look nice. All of this, like I said, is going to be polyurethane. He's going to put bra braces on the bottom to hold them, those black ones that you can see. So, so we are going to be using more of that black metal look into mixed with the metal in the barn and also giving it a farm look. So it's going to be a little bit contemporary mixed in with some of the, the old farm look. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Next week, we are drilling for water. So stay tuned and make sure you check out the playlist. I've got that at the end of the video. Have you been listening for them coyotes?